Well, hello, my friend. My name is Attila, and this is Mustard Piece. So today I am going to make an aunt, not your father's sister. It's like uh, like a forest aunt, like it's like a beta. Sawdust everywhere. Mustard piece. So the epoxy has set pretty quickly. If you can see the bubbles inside, it just, uh, I don't know, something went wrong. So this is fine. I think I still will be able to use this one. Uh, I'm going to turn away the excess and Hopefully I will get a proper clean epoxy without the bubbles. I just want to see how it look like. I want to see whether uh, the combination of colors work or not. So let's just do that.
okay this is close to the shape that I want it to be so I'm going to send it up okay I send it up so the only goal with this piece right now is just to determine whether it looks nice or not and after that I will start to carve it so here is the color I think I like this one so I start to do a little bit of shaping just with a sanding disc so I am going to polish it up So now I am going to do a little bit of carving. Oh, by the way, my new carving machine has just arrived. This is going to be the first time I use this one. Some of you might say I already had this. And I already used this. But I got scammed. The one I bought was fake. And I bought it from a very well respected online superstore and it was fake So this one is going to be the head and I don't do any wood turning on it because obvious reasons this is way too small to do any wood turning on it so I am going to carve it and uh, I don't know man we will see let's just start shaping it Okay, let's start with something very easy and just use a sanding disc to shape it. 
Yeah, that's what we are going to do. Doesn't have to be complicated. So the head is kind of shaped, I don't know how much you can see, there will be the eyes there, made the face and uh, I have this piece, not so large to be honest, but I try to put it into the lathe and try to do a little bit of work on it and this will be the body. One of these, either this one or this one, I don't know yet. Hi guys, this is Future Me Talking and I am editing this video and I can already tell this is going to be a two part series because I'm already at 12 minutes and I haven't even shown half of it what I wanted to show you and uh, either I am going to condense it down to the point where it is not enjoyable or it has to be a two part yeah it will be a two part so I got to this point it's very difficult to make a video of this as you've seen all these shavings are make it really difficult to photograph the piece but I have this one probably just going to clip these edges and then I will probably use a sanding disc to just shape it From this piece I am going to make the filler of the horn. Don't know how it's pronounced to be honest. I am a human biologist and a molecular biologist. I don't have to know this. This is animal or insect. So I have a good reason why I don't know this. Yeah? a little bit of update so I put in the horns 
I don't, I cannot show you everything because it would take so long and I cannot just put a little bit of glue on it and just attach it immediately. I have to play with it. It would take so long to film everything. But anyway, so I attach the horn and ants usually have this hair like substance in their mouth use the pencil and cut epoxy and that would give me the shavings and basically I just glued it into the mouth so now I am going to make the eyes so I poured drops of black epoxy and uh, when it dries completely I'm just going to peel one of these off shape it and just put it on as eyes so I didn't plan it to be a two-part series but it has to be it's already 17 minutes and uh, not much I can say just watch out for the next one and uh, you will see the finished product thank you for watching